Alright, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design an iPhone case in SolidWorks. So, first thing you need to do is get an accurate model of the actual iPhone. You can either design it yourself or go online and download one, which is what I did. So, I like to go on GrabCAD and uh, they have like a big selection of, of uh, models you can download from. But you gotta make sure it's accurate though because you don't want your iPhone being too, I mean the case being too big or too small, so. I'm gonna download this one I think. I've already done it, so. This is what you would do. You click on it and click on download. You can either do that or build your own design from the Apple, what Apple provides the developers with. Which is all the dimensions and all that. But. I'm saving time so we need to open up SolidWorks and go ahead and open up your model that you downloaded and we're going to need to make an assembly with this model so go over and make assembly from part okay so we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see make a new part which is going to be the actual case and so now let's see we're going to rename it in case we make confused and all that all right so before we get too far into it let's go ahead and save it when you go when you go to save this you're going to have to save it externally so you'll have two different files in case you want to print this out in 3D or whatever so we're gonna save it to our folder and now we're ready to start working on it what you want to do is go ahead and click on edit part so you'll be working on the actual case and not the iPhone itself so we're gonna make a new plane that this new plane's gotta be touching the bottom or the back of the of the iPhone. This is where we're gonna start our iPhone case. So let's make the let's do the new references. We're gonna click on the back of the iPhone case. Not the iPhone case but the iPhone itself. Make it coincident however you say that. Let's make it big enough to where we can see where it's at. So we're gonna open up a new sketch on this plane to sketch out the, the outside of the of the iPhone. All right. Before I do this, let me change my units back to millimeters because I hate working in inches. Okay, so let's try that again. All right, I'm gonna offset it just a little bit from the from the actual iPhone so it won't be too tight on it when we go to print it out I'm only going to do half of a it's going to be 0 0.05 minutes. Alright, so once we have selected all of the contour of the iPhone, we're going to offset it one more time so we'll actually have a thickness to our case. Now, this is up to you how thick you want your, your case to be. I'm going to make one, mine one and a half millimeters. Uh, I believe that the lowest you can make it in order to print it out is 0 0.08 millimeters but I'm not sure you'd have to check on the on their website for that so anyways 
we have to uh, make it touch the surface or offset it from the top surface just a little bit so it'll cover the whole the whole thing you can see it covers up all of the iPhone inside alright so here's the outside of it alright now we're gonna begin working on the back of the iPhone of the iPhone case so just open up a sketch from the bottom layer that you created earlier and you wanna convert all the edges onto this new sketch so you'll be able to work on them so you select all the edges and then you want to ex extrude all those so you have so you can close in the back of it once again you do 1.5 or however how thick you want it so starting to look like an iPhone case now alright so now let's make the holes for the camera and the flash and all that I'm gonna set the transparency so I can see where the where the camera is located at so Alright, so we're going to go ahead and extrude this, make a hole so you can see the camera and all that. And then we're going to make a 45 degree tamper on this, just to make it look nice. And you got to set the depth, which our case is 1.5, so that looks pretty good, I think. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and do the holes on the side. For your volume and your mute and all that. Let's connect those two and trim the inside of it. All right, so I we're ready to cut this off now. And once again, we're going to do a chamfer on it, 45 degrees. And there we go. All right, top button now. We're gonna cut it in half so we don't have to see the holes at the bottom because that just gets confusing. So this is just temporary, by the way. It's not gonna make it go away or anything. Cut it through. Let's do our temper. And there we go. Now we're going to do the bottom. And once again, we're going to cut it in half so we don't have to see the lines on top. Okay, this hole I'm not sure about because some headphones have the little thick, you know, the you might have some trouble fitting it in because I haven't actually printed this out yet. So you would have to 
you know, make make it a little bigger or whatever. Go ahead and extrude this for now. Pretty good. We're going to chamfer this also. All right, now we're gonna make the little holes for the speakers and the microphone. We're gonna make them slightly bigger than the actual hole, just to be safe. I'm not gonna do the other ones because through that there we go it's a nice looking case let's go ahead and make a hole in the back for the little apple logo we don't want to leave that out make sure you get it sent right for that boom wait we're not done yet we have to make some tabs in the front so the thing won't fall out. We're going to make some tabs to click it in. So let's go ahead and make a new plane right in the middle of it. Got to get the middle. There we go. And then we're going to cut it through that plane. And let's start a new sketch on that new plane we created and we're going to make some tabs right in here to keep the iPhone from slipping out or the case from falling off now once again we don't want it touching right on the iPhone just to give it some space but we want it pretty close there we go all right, now we're gonna mirror this onto the other side. So we gotta make a new center line right in the middle. And I'm gonna click on the mirror, select that shape we just made, and then click on the mirror line, and there we go. Now, once we go to extrude it, we're gonna have to do a two-way, two-direction extrude. The first one's gonna be going this way, and it's gonna touch that point. You see it does both of the sides. Now we're going to have to do direction 2 and click on that point. And there we go. There you have it. Let's go ahead and do a chamfer on the back just to make it look nice. And this is just a simple case. You can do all kinds of design on the back. Whatever you want to do with it. It's just the basics of it. So there we go. Looking pretty good. Okay, so when you get ready to print it out, you have to save it as an SDL file. So go, we're going to go ahead and open up the case file itself. And there you go. There's no iPhone in it. So we're going to go to File, Save As, Save as New Name. When you go to Part, when save as type you click on STL and this is the universal file for 3D printers so there you have it